All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Q&A video answer segment type of video. In this one we're going to be starting with whether or not I think The Walking Dead Season 6 is going to end with the biggest cliffhanger ever. Right, so I wanted to lock it in for today, get it done for you guys. Check out the new shirt. It is Walking Dead shirt. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not sure which walker this is, but I think it looks most like the RV zombie. I think I got Walking Dead there. So I think that's pretty cool. It's my uniform. <laughs> Yellow uniform. Awesome. Okay, cool. So that's uh, that's cool. That's new. Got some new stuff for Christmas. Gonna do. Maybe I'll do a Christmas haul. I got some different figures and stuff. This one's pretty cool. This is a Dragon Ball figure. Really cool for for Christmas that I got myself. So that's fine. So first question. Yeah. Um, uh, so this one came from Mark from the UK, and he says, "Trev, Q and A question. We're all expecting the Walking Dead season six cliffhanger." To be now, this is kind of spoilery, so heads up, guys. If you don't want to know anything about the story, I, I like to talk about it because we do know certain things, but we don't know anything about who's going to be killed in the finale, if anyone. Um, it says we we're all expecting the season six cliffhanger to be Negan killing off someone from the group. Do you think it's possible that we, the audience, will not actually get to see who gets the bat, so to speak? I like that you put that in quotes. Gets the bat. I like that. All right, nice touch, Mark. Uh, because the final shot will be the uh, previously spoiled point of view, and the series will end before the camera pans out for us to see who it was. Oh, man. Uh, if this plays out, then uh, the wait to find out who it was will be uh, a agon thing. Um, not sure where you're going with that. I'm not familiar with that word, if that's an English word. <laughs> There's a lot of words in the English language. Thanks, Mark. Agonizing. Ah, honestly, what an idiot. What a, what a, what a deadhead I am. Um, so, yeah, so uh, agonizing. So, yeah, you're right. That, that's absolutely true. And also, from the point of view clip, that's the first thing I thought when I saw it, too. I think I mentioned that in the channel before, too, is that it looks like if you, there's a leaked clip, by the way, and you, you guys who don't know about this, I don't even know where you can watch it now. You can start searching it online. You might find it somewhere, but not on YouTube. It, it's gotten taken down as far as I know. Um, <clears throat> basically is the first appearance of Negan played by Jeffrey D. Morgan and he's killing somebody but we don't know who it is so it could be a point of view shot because from the looks of it in filming it looks like and it looks like maybe one of the only scenes like he probably was only there for like one or two days of filming because he just got casted we got the leak clip and um, they wrapped up filming so it almost looks like to me that, yeah, the finale could be a point of view where either they don't show us who was killed at all, we have no clue, and actually they just leave it for season seven for the premiere, which would make this the hardest wait of a season ever to find out who Negan kills in his first appearance. Uh, so I like where you're going with that, Mark. Now, I, I would prefer it if they don't do that because I'd like to find out who it's going to be that that is going to get killed at the end of this season. However... That would make the ratings for season seven's premiere probably the biggest ever because people would be talking about it for like, you know, four or five months of who Negan is going to kill or who Negan did kill. And uh, we can break it down. We can do some math for the scenes and stuff. But it's going to be hard if it's point of view. Um, I love when they use point of view. They've done it before with the governor when he's beating up Milton. You remember? He's like, punch, eat my men die. And he's punching him, you know, kicking his ass. <laughs> you see his eye, right? They zoom, they, they like do a twist on that. That was cool. That was cool. That was the season three finale. Uh, even though the episode was kind of terrible. I, it, yeah, it was kind of terrible. I, I like it still, though, because you guys know I love Walking Dead. Pretty much anything Walking Dead. But, um... That was a cool scene. So I like where you're going with this one, Mark. And um, legit, man, that, that there's a there's a pretty good chance that this season is going to end with the worst cliffhanger ever. I mean, the the season cliffhanger at the end of the season could make this mid break cliffhanger look like nothing because it could be just that much worse, that much harder to deal with. So we'll see, man. I, I can't wait to find out. So let's go on to some other questions from you guys. Uh, next one is from Marshall uh, Canals. And he says, Trev, I got a quick question for you concerning the end of season six with the big expected death by the hands of Negan. I need water. Um, comic spoilers ahead. 
Could we possibly see the end of Rick coming? Do you think Gimple would have Rick killed by Negan to make a statement? I know Andrew Lincoln uh, has said the rumors of him wanting to leave the show uh, were false, but who knows? Also, with Deanna empathetically asking Michonne multiple times, what do you want? Could it be possible we see Michonne take over Rick's role in the comics? Or possibly Daryl. I have just noticed we have seen less and less of Rick as the show has gone on. And uh, while he is still the center of the show, it seems to be moving more from his perspective into a group perspective. That's true. That's true. Um, just curious as to your thoughts on this. I think a Rick death by Negan would be just as impactful as the character death by Negan in the comics. Thanks, and keep up the great videos. It'd be even more, uh, Marshall, for sure. It'd be, it'd be the biggest ever. Uh, the only reason I could see them doing that would be if Andrew Lincoln did genuinely want off the show. And it doesn't seem like that's the case so far. It, it, to me, it seems like that was just a rumor. You guys know how hungry we are. Like, I do videos like this in the off season when there isn't too much in the way of news or new info to talk about. I hang out with you guys like this, and we, you know, we answer questions, and we talk about theories and stuff like that. That's what I do during the off time. But other news sources for The Walking Dead, sometimes they just make shit up. <laughs> they have nothing to write about. So they just make shit up. So that's probably what happened with that. Uh, although Andrew Lincoln, Rick hasn't seemed as happy this season. He seems a little tired from all this shit year after year after year. Uh, but that's that's a good part because we got another question coming up. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll answer that one now. Um, somebody asked, how long do I think The Walking Dead... Uh, series will keep going. Um, let's see. Well, we'll get to that if we get to it in this Q&A. Maybe I'll do it in another Q&A, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, let's get into some questions from Sydney uh, Sarfati. Or Sarfati. Uh, he or she asked some really, because Sydney could be a guy or girl, right? I think so. Uh, yeah, it could be. Um, he or she asked some really good questions. Uh, the first one from him or her was, uh, hey, Trev, how many people uh, does Morgan have to either get killed or almost get killed before they tell him to just go? I think, I think he or she means to exile him. Uh, and that could be something, because that's kind of Deanna's approach, and Rick may want to um, honor her style with Alexandria. So if, if Morgan you know, gets anybody else killed, or even just from the event that happened with Carol, if Denise gets killed or the wolf gets away... You know, Rick is going to be so pissed off about what Morgan did there, and he may want to exile him. That's that's a that's a question, or at least threaten to exile him, because I don't think Rick would want to just kill him. I don't think that would be cool. Um, but he definitely can't continue to do stuff like that. It's crazy, right? You can't. You just you just can't do that. So that could be something. I like that idea that maybe he could uh, kick him out or something, and that also be a way for them to keep Morgan in the show, but yet let. Lenny James go again and then come back another five seasons later again or something. I don't know. <laughs> it could be. Next one's from Alex, and he says, Trev, how the F's uh, she going, bud? Well, she's going. Um, loving the vids. My question for you is, do you think Morgan will kill someone by the end of season six? I definitely see them doing something where Morgan is in a situation where he has no other choice but to kill someone in order to protect part of the squad and by uh, the way you uh, should set up a P.O. box so we can send you mail. Uh, I'm sure you would get sent some really cool Walking Dead stuff. I want to send you a Mickey of some of my famous bootleg vodka you could enjoy for the season six finale. Well, thanks, man, but you wouldn't be able to get that across the border. Um, actually, HBO sent me some Game of Thrones beer, uh, and it got sent back. And I was like, damn it! <laughs> that would have been so cool. It was like uh, some kind of, uh, I, I'm not exactly sure what house it was. It was like some kind of beer for the show. It was like a, you know, that type of deal. And that, that would have been so fun to review and just drink with you guys and stuff. But, you know, uh, unfortunately, the damn Canadian government has to ruin that. You know, can't, can't let anyone have too much fun over here, right? So that's how it goes. Got to keep things conservative here um so <laughs> to your question um so morgan killing someone by the end of season six yeah i think you're right he basically has to i mean he's going to be in a situation sooner or later within the next season a season and a half where he's going to have to choose whether or not he's going to do it or if he's going to uh, i would really like to see him do it you know because if he goes down the same route as someone like tyrese or something like that uh, where he just refuses to do it and it either comes back to bite him or, you know, just that could be too soft. I mean, that, that kind of sucks. We've Also, we've seen that, uh, you know, a few times over now. So I'd like to see him kind of, you know, go back the other way if, 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 if they can do it, if they can make it fit. But we'll have to see how it all, you know, how it all uh, works out. And um, 
they got to do something with that. Uh, so we'll see if Morgan is a long-term survivor. I'm almost thinking at this point, maybe he's not. Maybe he's just come back in, but he may not last more than, you know, past season seven. So we'll see. Uh, next one's from Blackstrat370, and he or she says, Hey, Trev, what are your thoughts on Father Gabriel in the mid-season finale? Not the same Gabriel that we are used to. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, I've enjoyed him a, a bit. I mean, I think he's gotten a lot better than he was. You know, he's killed zombies and done stuff like that, even though he left the damn gate open at the end of <laughs> first season. Uh, but no harm, no foul there. Nobody was killed from that. Um, Rick took care of that. So he is kind of a he's kind of an idiot, but he has gotten a lot better, I think. And uh, he is, you know, it would be useful to have something like that when you have death everywhere. You have people getting killed off all over the place, uh, especially for a bigger community. Definitely having a, a pastor would be... Uh, Something a lot of people would see a lot of value in, you know, give them hope and all that. Prevent people from committing suicide and stuff like that would be uh, would be good. Uh, next one's from Steve Vest, and he says, uh, Do you have any idea how um, they came up with the name Negan? It seems odd. Uh, was he a twin and his sister was named Megan? <laughs> that name just doesn't seem to say anything about the character. Of course, you wouldn't want to call the bad guy in the comic book Phil, uh, unless this was like the last man on earth or something. <laughs> I actually, I like that show. That show's funny as hell, man. I really enjoy that show. Um, but it would seem uh, they would pick a name uh, that gave a hint to his background or roots. I've never heard the name before either. That's a good question from Steve. And I always thought it was it was it was a weird name. Now I've always called him Negan, and I don't know if that's right or wrong. I just read it that way. Um, I've heard people call him Negan before. N e g a n. So should that be Negan? Or would there be an extra E in there? Or it should it be Negan? Um, I don't know. I've always called him Negan, and I've heard other people refer to him as Negan now. So I, I'm not sure where I got that from. If I ever heard Kirkman originally refer to him as Negan in interviews, I don't know. Uh, but that's how the way I've always called him. And it is a weird name. It's not a name I've ever heard before uh, from anybody. But, um, yeah, you know, it's not a bad thing because then it's a one it's, it's a one name type deal. And uh, there's no other character I can think of in comic books or in movies or anything or TV shows that has that name. So it's unique to him. So it works out nicely for when you're referring to him as no one will uh, misinterpret who you mean. Like uh, there's lots of characters named Glenn or Rick, I guess, uh, even though you're talking about what did. You know exactly who it is when you hear the first name. Uh, anyway, um, we'll do one or two more. Next one's also from Sydney uh, Sarfati. And... Here she says, hey, Trev, uh, don't you think uh, Carl needs to be more of a badass in the TV series version uh, of The Walking Dead like he is in the comics? Absolutely. Even the way he handled the Ron situation in the uh, mid-season finale was kind of weak, to be honest with you. I mean, he... I mean, he took care of it, but I almost think that, uh, well, I guess I guess he did what he kind of had to do at that time. But the comic book series Carl is such a badass. I almost think the comic book series Carl would just kill him or something. You know? um, wouldn't surprise me, or maybe not right away, but later on or something, you know, because he's, so, he's just such a badass. And then we'll do one more from the same person. Here she says, hey, Trev, uh, can The Walking Dead sustain an infant child, Maggie's, and a toddler's child, Judith? I mean, this isn't Leave it to Beaver. It's The Walking Dead, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, but, yeah, there's always the question of, you know, what would it be like if they killed a kid on or a child? Um, well, I, you know, eventually we may have to see something like that. I mean, it would make sense, but you've got bigger groups now too so they can have characters that can kind of stay back at the base or stay back at uh, in a community and as long as that community is safe then it's okay it is always kind of a burden i think though because of course kids cry and that kind of deal but uh, so far judith is 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 you know walking out like a pro and uh, sam's kind of losing his little uh, his little mind so <laughs> so there it is so i'll i'll call it here for today's q a guys probably do another one in a couple of days keep sending me your guys' uh, questions uh for the videos and that i'm thinking i think you know i probably do a throwback review for no sanctuary maybe that'd be fun to do for christmas like on a sunday night maybe either this sunday or oh, maybe next sunday at this point um you know because that just be fun because i was intending to do a throwback to no sanctuary before the season started but because of fear we didn't get time for it so I think that'd be fun. Uh, maybe do a throwback one of these Sunday nights. Not this Sunday, probably the next Sunday. I'll let you guys know within the week uh, if we're going to uh, if we're going to do that. And if you like the video, go ahead and thumb it up below. If you guys want to help support the channel, you can share, you can favorite. If you're new, you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for today's Q and A, guys. We'll see you again real soon. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace.